All right. Thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we are doing um, one box of 2018 Prism Soccer. One box, 2018. Uh, number 269. 12 packs in here. Each person there will get one pack. Hey, I'm Soccer Breakers FC. If you're interested in joining my breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. All breaks are live on YouTube. Check us out on our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. Follow us on Instagram, Soccer Breakers. If you're watching on YouTube, guys, be sure to click the little subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you to the 26 likes. Sorry to the two dislikes. Hopefully we can make you guys happy one of these days. All right, here we go. We're going to open this up. And... Uh, here we go. We're going to number these packs. Uh, not always, Nick. Not always. On average, probably there's, I'd say about 1.8, 1. 1. point. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's one, sometimes there's three. I've had it get skunked uh, one time. Uh, very rare that you get neither. I, I, it did happen once where we got neither, um, but it's very rare. And it's also fairly rare to get three, but we have hit three probably, um, I don't know, five to ten times where we hit like three of them but most of the time it's two then sometimes one sometimes very rarely three and like extremely rarely none yeah but two is about i'd say on average it's maybe 1.8 1.9 so most of the time it's two all right so here we go Yeah, it's a lot better than 2006 as far as your odds because 2006, there's only 24 packs. 2010, there's 36 packs. So in 2006, you usually hit one or the other. You might hit tw two of them occasionally, but not very often as much. And you do get skunked quite often as well. And 2006, you know, one out of every five or six box, you hit neither. You know, so that would really suck if you pay $4,000 and, and get neither one or, or 5000 or however much they are now. All right. Um, roll the dice. Reroll Snake Eyes. Otherwise, we go with it seven times again. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Wayne Campania and Peter on top, Peter Humphreys on the bottom. Yeah, it's going to be Toby time pretty soon. Yeah, I'm worried about my dogs. They're not going to be very happy moving. They've been in this house their whole life, so. Especially my little blind Toby. You know, he knows his way around this house. He's going to have to learn his way around there. All right. Thank you, Taylor. Uh, all right. Wayne Campania. Wayne Campania, one pack. Pack number one. Good luck. Recreating. Only science of you. All right, there's a Leroy Sané rookie in our first World Cup. This is pack one for Wayne. 
Red goes to Asensio. Nice little Rashford, New Era. Kyle Walker, Kokorin, and Blas Perez. Yeah, it's two and a half the size of this house. It's uh, a lot bigger than this house. So I'm going to have about, uh, probably about a thousand square feet uh, dedicated to soccer breakers in the new house. So it'll be like one huge room for shipping converted, you know, it's like a two car garage converted to a shipping area. And then uh, one pretty big room for the brakes and storing cards and all that stuff. Yeah, I have to do a housewarming. I know. Yeah, I'm moving from my office too, so my office is also shutting, well not shutting down, they're just, the attorney that I sublet from is moving, so I got to move as well. So that's the office I use for my shipping address sometimes, so I have double new addresses now. That is Wayne. Feels like you're on Wall Street, yeah. Yeah, honestly, a lot of that house was paid for by me selling my 2014 cards. Uh, I had about four or five, four hundred each of Messi and Ronaldo, so I sold a bunch of those. from 2014 prism. And a decent amount of uh... Yeah, I got this one guy. I can I have a PSA 10 Messi Ronaldo uh matchups the PSA 10 90 number to 99 wow nice Ronaldo this is number two by the way Elvinas Daniel Daniel Vicious congrats Elvinas this is yours I don't know if you guys saw this one but this one is amazing Someone check this on. Uh, can someone check this on one thirty point? I think uh, Austin told me that was the actual. Did it actually sell for sixty grand? Angel Di Maria. Oh, the silver PSA. Yeah, because someone listed it at 60000 and it uh, it sold. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have a PSA 10 uh, number, the red one, numbered to 149. It's got a population of four, so uh, it's not like, it's pretty low, but it's not, it, the, the silver prism only has a population of one, but there's a ton more silver prisms than there are uh, the other one. Yeah, and someone insta bought it. I don't even think they made an offer. They just bought it at sixty thousand because they had it up there at sixty thousand or best offer. And the guy, if it's a correct sale and it's not a you know scam, bought it at sixty thousand. All right, that is Elvinas. That's the thing. I'd be so nervous. Like if you put a card like that up and I believe me, I had like tons of those purples. I mean, I had so many of those. That was like a fifty hundred dollar card back when in 2014, 50. And that was like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollar card. Of course, ungraded. Nobody graded back then. But I'm sure some of them were, you know, that was probably one of the fact. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if I pulled that card because I did so much of it. Um, we hit so many of those. I mean, I hit golds of that card number to five. Uh, but like it, what I was trying to say, if you sell that for 60,000, I mean, I'd be so nervous about shipping that card. Like, you know, what if you ship it and the guy said, oh, it, it wasn't in the package, you know? I mean, hopefully at that amount, you got like serious people, but still. That would be pretty nerve wracking. Yeah, John, isn't that crazy? Number to 99 for 60,000. Just the silver prism went for 30 grand. Just the regular silver. Yeah, I mean, you almost want to like fly it over, you know? I mean, if it's in the US, how many is a plane ticket? Like, Four, four, five hundred bucks, you could fly out and make sure uh, you hand deliver it. Yeah, that's what everybody, that's what uh, Justin was telling me that he just hit by it now at sixty thousand. It's like holy shit. Okay, this was number three this was William Paisi by the way pack three sorry guys I got so distracted I'm not even announcing whose they are pack three was William Paisi William you also have pack nine Yeah, but forget it, John. You're not going to get Rookie Pele anymore at that price. You're going to get Rookie Pele is going to be a million dollars soon. I mean, forget it. If it's PSA 8, 9, I mean, million. Pele PSA 10 would be probably a million bucks already. All right. Who else do we have? Uh, number nine. Uh, Nero, Nero, I'm not sure. I, I was thinking maybe Immaculate, but we'll see. Whatever fills. James Rodriguez, Blasikowski, and Avinkula. 
Sorry, William. Not great. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. I mean, everything's just gone uh, crazy, Tinky. You know, my distributor was trying to, they had like match attacks on special this week and it was still like 160 something dollars a box. That was like for match attacks. I didn't buy it because I, I didn't know enough about it, but it's like match attacks Chrome. I think it's like 170 a box or, and then, you know, that would be my cost. So I think blowouts are like 180 or 199 or something like that. Uh, William Paisi. Number four, Truck Luong, Truck Luong. Yeah, but I heard it's really hard to hit autos, Tinky. It's like you don't get one in every box, right? You get like one every 10 boxes or something. Not so easy. How much do they want, John? I'm curious how much they're going for. Match text Chrome. Yeah, I just didn't want to buy it because I've I've never done match attacks, so Shakiri. Nice Timo Werner. Timo Werner, congrats truck. Yeah, hey, uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Okay. For match tax chrome, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'm curious, what, what does blowout have it at? Well, usually when they put it on sale, my distributor, that means nobody's buying it, and they're getting kind of. That's why I usually, I'm weary to buy the sale stuff, but. Yeah, it's still at 199 so maybe I might try. Look for autograph cards. Does anybody know the odds of hitting an autograph? 1 in 479 packs. Wow. So your chance of hitting an autograph is 1 in 479 packs. So like 1 in 30 boxes. Oh yeah, well there's the different kinds of autographs, I guess. So you're saying there's a chance. You'll see it says uh, one in 959, okay. So maybe about one in 400, let's say, and there's 18 packs. So 
10 boxes would be 20 boxes would be 360 maybe one in about 25 boxes or so all right that was number four that went to truck oh i don't know elvinas had two packs i only opened one of them so elvinas you got another pack coming good luck Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking there. I was smoking the ganja. Yeah, I saw somebody sent me a picture that they had hit the junior auto um, out of that. I was asking me, I think, what it was worth, and I said, I have no idea. Long. All right, Elvinas, you get another pack. Sorry, I missed you last time. Party. Go! Golazo, golazo para Mbappe. Golazo para Elvinas. Come on, let's go on with these. There we go, that's better. There you go, Elvinas. Congrats. See if we can do the double deed. Get a regular and a prism in the same box. Paid on man. All right, here we go. Ooh, silver is Hanisi behind that. We got New Era Asensio behind that. We got some Ospina love. Kombarov and Torres, but the big boom, the Mbappe. Number six, David Lee. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. If you actually, if you pay the higher rate, Michael, it's not so bad. I mean, honestly, that's what they're doing. If like, if you pay the fifty dollar per card deal, uh, they actually come back within a few weeks, usually uh or you know some pay like a hundred dollars and it comes back within like a week 
uh, but you got to pay the big bucks and you know if the card is not you know it's only like a hundred dollar card it doesn't make sense to pay a hundred dollars to get it graded Jasim, yeah, Austin will tell you what the how long it's taking. Rafael Varon, this is number six, by the way. David Lee, yeah, I announced that. Varon, Hosseini, and Quist. All Express. Is it Toby time? Not yet. Express is 65. Yeah. Oh, wow. What value card, uh, Tinky? Is it like $100? If it's like a $1,000 card, it's still okay? Is it like up to 2000 or something? Insane how much these are going for. Insane. Can't believe it still. Sixty thousand dollars. Thirty-four thousand dollars for a but it, eBay doesn't eBay max out at a certain amount? Seven. Mark nah. I thought eBay's like maximum fee is like uh You know, once you get up like over ten thousand dollars, they they drop their fee. Am I wrong? Yeah, I'm still waiting on a bunch of 2014 World Cup Prism that we submitted. There's my boy. Did you guys see that bicycle kick yesterday? Goal! Olivier Giroud. Chelsea, baby. Mark Na. Goat. That's right. That was kind of weird. Like, he scored and nobody, like, because they were, like, all offside. And like took them five minutes and then they finally congratulated. It was such a nice goal too. Chadley, Moreno, and Malul. Yeah, right when they called it, I'm like, wait a minute. He, the other guy kicked it backwards. So it was the Atleti guy that passed it to him. But So it worked out. So what's the deal? They played in Romania because they wouldn't allow the English in because of COVID or what? Because all of a sudden I'm like, why the hell are they playing in Bucharest or wherever they were? Yeah, he's, he's clutch. So well, the next one though will be at Stamford Bridge, right? So their players can go get COVID, they just can't bring it into Spain. Yeah. 
Next one's in England, yeah. Well, that was key, too, because getting that away, like, nil-nil, I would have been worried. Because, you know, you need that away goal. It's key. Now, I mean, I'm still worried, but at least I, I think we have a pretty good chance. Mark not. Yeah, the whole away goal thing is kind of uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm a bit bummed though about Pulisic, man. He's like just not the same player he was last year. He's not like anywhere close to what he was last year. Mike Weiss, 8 and 10. A little worried about him. I hope he uh, turns it around. Yeah, they did. I mean, the, in all fairness, they, you know, I got to give it to Tuchel. He really has, uh, I mean, he really has changed things, the attitudes, everything quickly. I mean, under as much as I love Frank, uh, under him they were uh, struggling big time. Modric. Right, boom. Yeah, I got much. Yeah, I mean nobody's gonna catch uh, Manchester City, but boom. Koscielny, but I think Chelsea has a pretty as good a chance as any at finishing second. Koscielny, Hichan, and Mamedy. I mean, I when Lamp like last few before Lampard got fired, I really thought we had like very little chance of Chelsea finishing in the top four. But now uh, it seems like a you know pretty uh, pretty good bet. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it, Tinky. What's the bet? I don't really feel confident. I was gonna see like I'm not breaking. I was like if if Manchester United wins. No, I can't I can't do that. That would be pretty bad. I was gonna I was gonna suggest something really drastic, but no. Oh, this was eight and ten. I was gonna say like I have to wear a Manchester United jersey on camera. I was like, no, I can't do that. Sorry. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that. I was like, oh man, I can't. If my friend saw me, that would be it. You wear a Chelsea shirt to work. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, I, I, I got to admit, I don't have a Manchester United jersey, but I'll, I'll have to find one somewhere. Uh, Yahya al Sherry. All right, I could probably use that. Find like an old, oh, I know, I could, I could like justify it by finding like an old Chicharito jersey or something. Matt's Hummel, since I am a big Chicharito fan. Gudmundsen and Bell Honda. That was the second pack. For Mike Weiss. Sorry. Two packs for Mike Weiss. You ready? Yeah. Okay, I'll be there in like five minutes. You're a Greenwood shirt. I guess Greenwood isn't so bad, right? You're rooting for the for the young one. Was Foden in last year's uh, EPL prism? 
I don't know. I have to. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's look at. I know something we can look at. That way we can figure it out. Uh, group rate checklist, right? Let's go soccer. All right, so this is 2021 EPL Prism. So we want to go 1920 EPL Prism. All right, there we go. So 1920 Premier League Prism. I remember this came out before the whole pandemic thing. Bournemouth. All right, let's go to Arsenal. Did they have Saka? Okay, Arsenal last year did not have Saka, so that means Saka is going to be huge. Yeah, Chelsea did not have Tammy Abraham or Mason Mount last year either. So this is going to be rookie prism for both of those guys. Pretty sure Man, Man U did not have Mason Greenwood last year. We would, they, we, yeah, they'd be all over the place. They'd be selling for huge dollars. So it's going to be Greenwood's rookie. Hey, what do you guys think of that 17-year-old kid that scored for Bayern? It's like supposed to be like Nigerian but English and could play for England or Germany. What's the name of that guy? Something with an M, I think. Mike Weiss. Musala, yeah, something like that, or Musa. So what he, he uh, his stuff could be pretty good. Oh, I forgot to uh because I, I forgot to post I I was on live. Some people are asking me when am I gonna go back on? I'm like, I'm on. Yeah, all right. Groobs, what's up? Groobs knows. He's the Bayern guy. Groobs, man, I hope you kept some of your uh, 2016 Euro Prism. That stuff has gone nuts. I don't know if you check prices on some of this stuff. It's just insane, man. Uh, Dan Zaloom. Nice. Dan Zaloon. Let's do it. We had actually one release day when, uh, but that day I think uh, it was Immaculate release day. And I think, um, was no, not Immaculate. What was it? No, Impeccable. I, was it Impeccable release day? But anyway, it was one of these release days and uh, Castro restreamed me. There you go. Dan Zaloom, Rashford. Castro like restreamed me live and we got up to like almost 1,500. We had like 1,440, 50 uh, people in here. In a matter of like, you know, minutes, I went from like 300 to 1,400.
Boom, shakalaka. Goal. KDB Red Prism. That's a big one. Oh, yeah, Euro Select. That's what it was. It was Euro Select. You're right. There's Arena, Kintev, and nice one there, Suarez. Yeah, one pack left. All right, I gotta do Toby time here. Benedict, I don't. I was talking to Austin about that, and I was like, you know, that seems really expensive, but he seemed, but he's right. I mean, when have you seen Prism or Chrome go down in value? Not, not very often. I mean, it's very unusual if Prism, I mean, it may dip a little bit, like from a really high peak, but generally speaking, you know, Prism and Chrome are the, it happens to Select. Select I've seen drop. I mean, Euro Select is the perfect example. When it came out, it was like 650 a box and now it's like 430 a box. So it dropped by, you know, 35%. Uh, but I've never seen Prism or Chrome really, really tank. Yeah, how much are last year's Prism boxes? They're crazy. Aiden, yeah, the, the, I had spoken to them. I, yeah, apparently they tried to contact me. I don't know. Austin told me too about that because I know Austin was on it. Um, yeah, I guess I, at some point, I'm sure I will be. Yeah, I haven't met the guy who does the podcasts. I know I met the, the other guys that have been there a while, and we had talked about doing something like that. Dan Zaloom. That's right, he is. He's Hollywood, man. I'm going to have to ask for his autograph. Like, Austin, can I have your autograph, man? Boom, did he. I know, man. That's it. Uh, Luis, not not right now. 2010 has just uh, gone a little too crazy right now to post. It's going for like four or five grand a box right now. So we'll see. Just waiting for it to stabilize a little bit. This is the last box, by the way. Peter Humphreys. Peter Humphreys, last box. Ben Amor. Aguero, Yamaguchi, and Yurich. He won't sign. <laughs> Dual sign. There you go. Serge, I got I gotta do Toby right now. I got maybe two more breaks after this in me, guys. I don't have a lot in me. We're gonna do Immaculate. Maybe I'll do like one more after that. Maybe two at most. I, I can't stay on super late because I gotta be up early tomorrow again and deal with the movers and all that. I'm not by the way, guys, I'm not gonna be on tomorrow night for sure. I, my wife would kill me if I got on tomorrow night. I already promised her I wouldn't. So, because uh, we're moving, the movers are showing up early in the morning, like 8 a.m. on Friday. And so, uh, you know, to move the big stuff. 
including the table we're breaking on right now. This table is like super heavy. It's one of those Vara desks, Peter Humphreys. And if you saw my office right now, it's like a disaster area. I have to completely empty it because otherwise they can't move. Uh, otherwise they can't move this stuff. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the plan is that either on Saturday I have to break from downstairs, like on one of those folded tables. Or I have to, if I'm set up by then at the new house, I'll have to break from the new house on Saturday. So we'll see. I have to crack open the bubbly Saturday night, have a party over there at the new place. I'm just hoping internet is good. The, all the tests and everything looked good. So hopefully we won't have any internet issues over there. All right, let me end this. Uh, 2010 is not as crazy as 2006, truck, but it's just anything World Cup has gone crazy.